Hi guys, my name is Camry Conroy and I'm going to be sharing my screen with you guys. I'm just going to be talking about medical terminology and this is learning activity number one. For my first slide, I want to explain the four different types of word parts. There's word root, which is an example of that would be gastra, which means stomach, and then the suffix, and the example of that would be itis, combining form, the example of that would be gastro, and the prefix, and the example of that would be hyper. By knowing and understanding these word parts and how they work, will really help us understand medical terms more. And then on the left, I provided a picture with some word root examples. For my second slide, word roots are the basic meaning of a term. However, the meaning of a term can be modified by adding a prefix or a suffix. Prefix is placed at the beginning of the word, and that is gonna be prefix slash root word. The suffix is placed at the end of the word, which is root word slash suffix. Some examples would be gastra, which means stomach, cardi, which means heart, and enter, which means the small intestine. And on the left again, I provide some more examples of these roots. For my next slide, we have how to build medical terms. Prefix, root word, and suffix terms are all medical terms that are built by combining three components. If you combined a prefix, a root word, a suffix, a medical term can be formed. The guidelines for building medical terms, which I wrote down below, would be rule one, the root is the foundation of the word. Rule two, a prefix is always placed at the beginning of the word. Rule three, a suffix is placed at the end of the word. Rule four, when more than one word is used. And rule number five, when defining medical terms, begin with the suffix and read it backwards. And to the left, there's more rules um, explaining these basic guidelines. Breaking words apart. Some medical words are made up of multiple parts, so it would definitely make more sense if you break up the word in different parts. Three steps I would consider is first, separate the words into parts, then start from the suffix and move toward the beginning of the word, and lastly, determine the meaning in which the term is being used. This is just because some word parts have more than one meaning. But remember, not all medical terms are made up of word parts. And also for me, using the medical dictionary really helps me get the right definitions and meanings. And then to the left over here, I just have another example of um, breaking word apart. Some tough suffixes that often get confusing and messed up is some of the ones I listed here. There are many suffixes that are used in medical terminology. Most contain similar letters and have similar meanings. This could really lead to confusion when creating or trying to study these medical terms. I wanted to use the Tommy suffixes. And the first one of these su suffixes is Tommy, which means cutting into or a surgical incision. The next of these suffixes is Stommy which means creating an opening. And then the last of these suffixes is ectomy, which means surgical removal. It's clear to see that the spelling is very similar for these suffixes, but the meanings are all quite different. There are also many more examples of these that will help you remember the meaning. Some terms, examples, and definitions that I have listed. These words might look really similar, but do not have the same meanings. One example is gram, which means picture, and that's cardiogram, a graph produced by a cardiograph. We have graph, which is a machine, and that is cardiograph, which is the movement of the heart. We have graphy, the record, which is cardiography, and that records the heart. 
Another example would be scope, which is a visual instrument, and that is pronounced endoscope, a small tube with a light at the end. And we have scopy, a visual examination. And this is a visualization of body parts by x-ray images. We have tommy, a surgical incision, which means lithotomy, surgical incision removal. We have echotomy, which is the surgical removal, and that is the surgical removal of appendix. And lastly, we have stomy, which means new opening, and that is the opening between the colostomy and body surface. And then just on the left right here, I put you got this, Liam, because there is more to a medical term than just the word and separating it, it into parts, learning the prefix, suffix, and combining forms of this can really help you learn these words better. Thank you.